am one of the people that has the microphone down front tonight, but just looking at you, I can tell a lot of you in here from time to time give presentations. And you know that if you're the one down here, you are very aware of everything that's going on in the room. For example, I can be facing this way, but I know if somebody's crawling on the floor over here. <laughs> or I can be looking here and I know she just punched her husband in the elbow, woke him up. You know what's happening, and in the back of the room right now, I can see y'all, and I can see a couple of heads leaning toward each other. Y'all are not doing this in the front, because you're not sure I won't come off this stage and get you. <laughs> and y'all are whispering, and I know what you're whispering. Be honest. You're sitting there and you're saying to each other, you mean in a state the size of North Carolina? In the year 1963-64, she was the best thing they had to send to the Miss America. I would have moved there with my sister had I known there was an emergency. And how close did she come to winning the title of Miss America? That's the way we say it in North Carolina, the Miss America pageant. Any of y'all in here from North Carolina or with North Carolina relatives or connections, would you raise your hand? Great. Any of y'all remember seeing me on TV at the Miss America pageant? <laughs> One person? One person? That's fascinating. Because I never got on TV. At the... <laughs> she was trying to help me. But there's some North Carolinians here, and I went to Auburn University down in Alabama, and I got a feeling several of y'all are here too, and so I can see some wheels turning. And y'all are gonna put this thing together, so I'm gonna beat you to it. In the Miss America pageant, I finished 49th. <laughs> Out of 50 contestants, there was this one. Pitiful contestant, we're talking pitiful, who played the comb for her talent. Uh, uh I know where I am. I am in Kentucky. You folks know about playing the comb. You can't fool me. Try this on a rainy day. You've done everything that you can think of to do, and you've got grandchildren or children there, and they're driving you nuts. Pull out a comb a regular hair comb and wrap it in tissue paper or what? I knew you were comb players. Sure, wax paper, play it. Play anything that you want to play. She wanted to win badly. She had her high school shop class make a big comb. And they wheeled that thing out on stage on a little comb cart. And she picked it up and went to town and she had Jeannie scared to death. She was not that good, but she knew something. She knew something that I believe I should know as one of your entertainers for the evening. And I think she knew something that every single one of us needs to know with each day. She was only 18 years old, 18. But she taken the time to sit down and carefully figure out what she needed to do to be successful working with her particular audience. And when she finished with her comb routine, you can count on it. Everybody there was on their feet, which is what will usually happen when you play the national anthem. <laughs> Find out what'll work, that's the thing. 